Alright guys, time for the next segment of my next weekend celebration. Still got Cody with me. What's up? And Cody, tell the viewers what our second segment is. You don't know Jack. That, Nintendo Wii. That's right, you don't know Jack. We're going to be playing that today for our next segment. The so let's go ahead and get ourselves signed the in. Zachman 18. Press A to play. Let's play. Hey, if you guys want to game set. things in case you know this back on the show of this. Yep. We're going in. That is back. correct. It's me, Donnie. I'm here to resuscitate you about the instructions. We already know how to play. Oh, you guys have seen me play this game on, on my channel before. We're almost at go. Let's go ahead and skip this intro. No more waiting. Right. No more waiting. All right, and the wrong answer of the game is sponsored by. Is brought to you by Magic Pudding. Magic Pudding. For nutritional information. Magic Pudding is today's sponsor. All right. Question one. Run. First on the docket. The Rise of the Phoenix Online. The Rise of the online. Phoenix Online. <laughs> if the University of Phoenix graduating seniors want to do pranks slash honor their mythological mascot, how often should they set the school on fire? Every 250 Wait, years, every um, 500 years, uh, every 667 when does, uh, years, or How many years does the, years? does the Phoenix rise? Because the answer is either 250, 500, 667, or 100, isn't it? Isn't it like 500? Time's a waste. I'm gonna go 500. According to the Egyptian legend, every 500 years, the Sweet. phoenix builds a nest, manipulates the sun's rays to set it on fire, and then rises from the ashes to live through the cycle again. And we got it. And that's worth 386 dollars. The University of Phoenix is mostly an online university. I guess the seniors could just set their computers on fire. <laughs> Question two. Try this on for size. Put a top hat on that colon. <laughs> Including official grammatical terminology, who's the former lead guitarist the, of Guns N' Roses? Slash, slash, I know the Rangel, guitarist. Slash, 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 Pilcro, slash, slash, Tilda, or slash, slash, well, Kilimax. Well, Regula is the same thing as a slash, right? <laughs> The official term for a forward slash is a vergule, so you call Sweet. him slash slash vergule, or you know, slash vergule, vergule. Slash slash vergule. <laughs> As in, excuse me, can I get your autograph, Mr. Slash slash vergule? I loved your work on Sweet Child slash Zygote of Mine. <laughs> Three. And on its way. I subscribe to the Baltimore Sun, if you know what I mean. I mean, it's a diss or dat. And it's a diss or dat. I'm going to list off seven titles. For each one, I want you to tell me a bit. So, so the seven names are going to be a major American or newspaper or a depraved sex, a depraved act. sex act. If it's a <laughs> newspaper, press left on your plus control pad. If it's a sex act, press right. Oh, you already know how to play. We got 30 seconds. Fine. Here we go. The Sheboygan Press. Uh, newspaper. The Cleveland Steamer. Sex Act. The Columbus Dispatch. Uh, newspaper. The Eagle. Newspaper. The Toledo Blade. Sex Act. The Alaskan Pipeline. <laughs> Let's see what the headline is today. The Alaskan the Pipeline is a depraved sex act. act. You learn something every day, kids. <laughs> wow. And thanks to the internet, both newspapers and the brief sex acts can be viewed instantly for free. Everybody, quattro! Everybody, quattro! Hey! Fucker up for... Thank you for being a fiend. I would be called to the crime scene if Dexter killed the Golden Girls. NCIS Los, <laughs> NCIS Los, Los, Los Angeles Miami, is one of the answers. NYPD Blue or <laughs> Reno 911. Who would be called? Who would be called to the crime scene if Dexter killed the Golden Girls? I don't think it's NCIS. I'm gonna say CSI Miami. Dexter, the Golden Girls. Both shows are set in Miami. <laughs> and that should be a pretty short episode of Dexter. I did watch a couple Dexter of Dexter episodes. It was pretty good. Where's the bomb girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh yeah. It's time for what's the motto with you? <laughs> If your motto were Carpe Noctum, which of these songs would most likely be your theme music? Cheeseburger in Paradise, Night Fever, Crazy, or... What does Carpe Noctum fly? mean? Doesn't it mean, like... Oh, shoot. I'm just gonna go with, uh, Crazy. 
Dang it. Smart people choose this. Kirby oh, Noctum is Latin for seize the night. Seize the night. It was, it was seize. I knew the first one was seize. But a topical cream fixed it right up. Dang it. All right, moving on to round that two. Close to round one. And you should be very proud of that score. So far we've gotten 3,280. Not a big score, but... Remember, I'm doubling the value of... Oh, I keep forgetting about the wrong answer two. of the game. Is it, is it still there? And Sweet. lest you forget, our wrong answer Magic of the game is Got still it. out there waiting to be picked. So I guess it's something associated... Oops. Something associated with magic or something associated with pudding. Probably pudding. Say hello to... Oh, crap. <laughs> Ever play Farmville on Facebook? Oh yeah, God. you and my brother. My sister is obsessed with lady, Farmville. Doctor, nephew, hairstylist, agent, the three women at the pie shop, my in-house masseuse, my robot Carl, and half <laughs> the rest of the known world. If you decide to plant only the number one food crop in the USA when playing Farmville, what what's the number one food crop in the USA? Spouse is gone, and I got one thing on my mind. Corn. Went to dentist it's either corn today, or and now wheat. growing soybeans. Home from work, time to grow some wheat. Or removing belly button lint, time to harvest cotton. Ah. I'm going to say uh, wheat. Time to be short. You're a gluten for punishment. God. Ready for this? It is corn. God. God. I was going to go with corn. A grain that America produces more than any other country. Really? It's nice to know all those virtual Facebook farmers are doing their part to end virtual world ah. hunger. Questions! Questions! Seven! Oh. I can't. Next up, <laughs> the radio is giving off some <laughs> harmful pundit waves. What? Suppose Rush Limbaugh used the radio waves to bash the rest of the electromagnetic spectrum. Which of these statements would not be included in that rant? Sound waves are fascists. Microwaves are destroying America. Gamma rays are hippies. Or visible light is a uh, let's see, let's go Microwaves, sound gamma rays, visible light along with radio waves are on the electromagnetic spectrum. Switch. Sound waves are not. Got that right. Limbaugh likes his electromagnetic waves to be small, not to interfere with citizens' lives, and to be really into the Second Amendment. This has been Political Commentary with Cookie Masterson. <laughs> political Commentary with Cookie Masterson. It's gonna be a new show on TV. It's on Area 8. Here we have... This garbage kicks trash. Ooh, I think this is gonna be a funky trash well, coming up. I've been training to be a Hollywood action star. I've been practicing my roundhouse kicks on big old bags of trash people are sending in for our send in your trash feature. Sweet. Look it through your trash bag. Look it through your bag. trash. Hey, yuck! Oh, man, that was a good one. Jeez, there's trash everywhere. Let's see I what this trash this is. Well, let's see here. We've got. There's some old bass strings, some old bass bus strings a bus schedule, wow. and a red pill. Which action star's garbage did I just kick well, the crap out of? Well, I think I know. Bruce Willis, Keanu Reeves, yeah, because Keanu Reeves, I think, used to play in a band. Uh, he was in the movie Speed, which was one of my all-time favorite movies. And the red pill is from The Matrix. I'm going to go with Keanu Reeves. Oh, yeah. He plays bass in his band, Dog Star. He chased a bus in Speed. And he took a red pill in The Matrix. Sweet. I just owned Keanu Reeves' garbage. Got that Man, right. He really makes a lot of garbage. Specifically, a walk in the clouds and the day the earth stood still. Here's what I like to call Show, show Me Your, your Old Face. face. <laughs> Which company's brand name is not spelled with a negative O? Jello, Brillo, Genio, or Whammo? I think it's Brillo, but Jello pudding might be the wrong answer. Let's see. Hello. It was begging to be picked. Brillo okay, it was Brillo, Brillo, but Pads Jello is just spelled B R. Jello is pudding, right? No dash. I think so. But I really Let's love see if Brillo. I got the wrong it's answer. A I, use. I think so. How else do you think I keep my skin so blemish free? Ah! Yeah, that looks good. People who choose wrong answers don't get any pudding. Sweet! Got it! Unless you pick the wrong answer of the Jello game, and is pudding, and I got... Magic pudding! Magic pudding! Yes, you want some magic God, it looks pudding gross. Magic pudding made by the pudding magicians at Magic Pudding. Warning, magic pudding is meant for entertainment purposes only. So I got some magic pudding. pudding. And how much, uh, what's my cash bonus? Magic pudding doesn't even taste very good. Consult a doctor before eating magic pudding.
Today's what? wrong answer of the game. Oh, 8,000. On top of your current score. Sweet. Yeah. 14,152. And we're on the final question. Question 10. Here's one for you. Make believe economics. Okay. So, my nephew lost a tooth the other day, and apparently the tooth fairy gave him two dollars for it. I'm trying to explain to him that that's obviously not true. Every time he loses a tooth, he gets the same thing, two bucks. Well, if the tooth fairy really saw teeth as a commodity, abiding by the laws of <laughs> supply and demand, which type of tooth would yield the most value? Molars, bicuspids, incisors, or canines? I think it's mole. I'm gonna go canines, actually. Because humans have fewer canines than incisors or molars, supply and demand dictates that canines would be in greatest demand and thus most valuable. It's worth another 2238 I told my nephew there was a booger fairy that paid a dollar for every booger he left under his parents' pillows. So, and, uh, Cody, guess what time it is? It's gonna be my brother calling. I think I'm just gonna let it ring. That is correct. Yeah. It is round three, also known as the Jack Attack. We're just going to go ahead and skip the oh, intro. What is our clue that. this time? Here's your clue. What team, what are, team you are you on? I'm on Team Love. Good luck. So I guess we're trying to find what teams people are on. Vampire Lovers. Oh, God. Team Edward. Where are you? There you are. I do not watch Twilight. I hate that movie with all my life. Annie Richter. Oh, I think it was Team Coco. Shoot. Oh, dang it. It's not Team Cookie. B.A. Baracus is a team. There we go. Profane Marionettes. Uh, teams. Oh, shoot. Team America. There we go. Johnson, uh... Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, there we go. Dream Team. Got it. Minor League player. Farm Team. <laughs> Union Workers. Ah, oh, shoot. There we go. I'm pretty sure we finished in the positives. Our final score is... 28,390. Well, that score wasn't totally embarrassing, and just from the short time I've spent with you, you seem like no stranger to embarrassment. Embarrassment probably follows you wherever you go. So much embarrassment, in fact, that this major accomplishment must seem like an epic success to you. Uh... So, enjoy it. You don't know Jack! What's going on, Donnie? Alright, I'll see you guys in the next segment coming up next.